Hello, my name is Juan Mifsud. I'm a student in University College of MCAST. And as part of my second year project, we are analyzing the potential impact of cloud forensics in a cloud computing environment with the use of a digital forensic methodology. We design and implement a digital forensic experiment based on a cloud computing platform. In order to collect forensic data for investigation, we set up a cloud computing environment and implement it outside the cloud premises. In our research, as a monitoring environment, we are using Wireshark, an autopsy, to monitor the behavior of the cloud. We created a virtual setup using VMware virtual machines, running on Ubuntu and Windows 10, respectively. Both of them connected with an AT adapter, thus sharing the host's IP address. Regarding the system implementation, in this setup we use Shamp in order to host the cloud as a cross-platform art server. The Ubuntu virtual machine is launching an HTTP-based distributed denial-of-service attack into the cloud server, where packets are sent slowly inside the local host, which results in the cloud server going down. With the help of Wireshark, we can analyze the network traffic, hence collecting verified information, and which will result into the source IP address of the attacker. An in-depth analysis on the IP address of the attacker was shown, and in our case, the virtual machine of the attacker is part of our evidence. The autopsy software will create a forensic image of the virtual disk and extracts all the information that was inside the virtual machine. As you can see, the image is already taken because it takes some time until all the files are analyzed. On the left section, the information which was inside the virtual disk is shown, where if there were any files deleted or not, they are with the rest of the other output. As you can see, the user of the machine requested information regarding the attack, which then leads him to download the file with the code inside. After that, we can see that the file script from the forensic toolkit is shown in here, with the code inside. Thanks for watching and have a good day.